Egypt, the Suez Canal, one of the most epic structures created by mankind. More than 17,000 ships use this channel every year. But there was a problem. Only one-way traffic was possible over a 35-kilometer stretch. Every vessel had to wait up to 11 hours to let ships from the opposite direction pass. And that's why the famous Suez Canal got a 21st century makeover. A new parallel waterway created to make two-way traffic possible. Initially, it was estimated that it would take three years to get the job done. But the Egyptian president set the bar higher and wanted to open the new Suez Canal within a year. An operation of historical proportions. For this job, there was hardly any preparation at all. Before we knew it, the project was awarded to the consortium itself. From that moment onwards, there was only one goal, and that is the bigger challenge, to make it ready in 10 months' time. From all over the world, equipment has been mobilized to this location, from Europe, from the Far East, even from South America. A 35 kilometer long canal, 24 meters deep and 400 meters wide, straight through the desert. A killer schedule. Uh, here we see a channel of 35 kilometers divided in four lots. We have lot 2, 3, 4 and 5, of which lot number 4 is the Van Oort lot. Yeah, the intentions of this lot is to have the whole area first prepared with cutter dredges, that we remove the top layer of the lot, so that the hopper dredges can enter and go to the full depth. What is here? It was all the same, only stand. Now the challenge for me is the deadline is very short, so delay is not an option. In the beginning we were in doubt actually if it will be going that smooth and we will make this much progress, but now it's going smooth. And I don't think there will be any other project which, is, which will be coming quite soon, like this scale and in shorter time. So I feel really proud. Yeah. I'm um, here for my daily visit to the dredger and we discuss the progress, the time frame and the, the planning. A highlight here for me in Suez is to see a, a project on this large scale, to see a project finish in 10 months, starting from zero up to uh, a new Suez Canal. In total, 200 million cubic meters of sand were moved the equivalent of about 80 times the Great Pyramid of Giza. We have uh, productions of uh, 60 to 65,000 cubic meters a day, uh, what means that we do almost 400,000 cubic meters a week, and that's for a hopper dredger a lot of uh, sand to move from one place to the other. The project office in Ismailia, the beating heart of the operation. Here, Van Oort's marine professionals monitored and controlled the logistics and equipment. In total, 28 units were part of this operation, the largest number of dredges ever deployed on a single project. The marine ingenuity is to have this project completed in a small period of time with a lot of people involved. We have almost 1800 people on site now in total and the 23 dredges all together in one spot. That is the, the biggest challenge for us. Yeah, it's very busy, especially when the crew change uh, for the on-signer and off-signers. And we have to deal with many people. <laughs> like the driver, the agents, uh, the superintendent to tell them who's coming, who's leaving and what time. So it's very busy. To make sure everything went as smoothly as possible and to prevent delays, immediate action was taken to resolve any emerging situations. 
The work continued around the clock. The Suez Canal makeover is without a doubt one of the most mind-blowing dredging projects of this decade. The immense landmark is now ready for the vessels to pass through. In its list of epic man-made structures, Egypt can add the second Suez Canal. A 21st century icon was realized thanks to Van Ord's marine ingenuity.